Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters, a sci-fi horror. You can read and or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I have left the link in the description. And now to this video. In this video I'm going to show you a nice little thing you can do to quickly complete an event in the toxic wasteland. So for the scoreboard, it's one of the challenges. It's actually an epic for me, so it might not be a set one for you, but maybe it'll be a future set. And yeah, so you're, you're just waiting for an event to drop. Well, in this method, you're going to force an event to drop. So what you're going to do, you're actually just going to go take the Hemlock Holes workshop and this will trigger an event and you squat down into uh, sneaking and now I'm gonna go over there for map reference here is a vault 76 you're gonna go north you'll see the alligator it's just west of that you gotta go to the hemlock holes it's the closest travel point fast travel point you also don't necessarily have to take the workshop. If someone else has the workshop and one of the events drops, just run over there real quick. Now, be aware that player versus player can be initiated at workshops. So here it is. As you saw, that I was fast traveled to the Hemlock Coles and I just ran down the door. Sorry, road. There's usually four to five ghouls here. In the upper right hand corner, you see that I have completed the assignment to clear the enemies. This is the fastest workshop to take. And yeah, it'll probably be also a coveted workshop. So again, I will stress, be wary of player versus player. So a player could come over here and try to take this away from you or even stop you from claiming. All right, so claiming the workshop, yeah, that is not going to give you your event, but it will give you some nice little goodies. If you're a low level player, workshops are a great place to pick up plans because you're always awarded a plan. Now you higher level players, yeah, you got plans coming out of your ears. You don't need these uh, low level uh, plans. Next thing I'm going to do is throw out some turrets. And I'll show you the placements I like. It's pretty soon an event will spawn, usually within five to ten minutes of taking the workshop. You can also invite all your teammates or friends to come over because this will also count for them as an event. I put these here to kind of protect the ones that are up on that rooftop because, yeah, happens to be rad scorpions. They'll just kind of uh, spawn on the roof and start taking on your turrets. You're able to put out 20 turrets. Um, now you can see for the longest time everything was in green. That was because the workshop was supplying me with all my uh, material. But I have Fallout first, so I have plenty of material to keep building. There's even a place on this little bush you can throw one on. I just need to figure out where to place the last one. I think I'm going to put it up here and double up the turrets here. See if I can do it. I'm going to place it and then move the other one over. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Maybe slowly. There we go. All right. Now this place. As you can see, it now has spawned. I'm just waiting a minute and a half for the event. Um, super mutants, um, anglers, uh, let's see, ghouls, rad scorpions. 
let's see what else. Oh, I will also sell, show you that the Grafton monsters over here, if you need him for any reason. And there's usually two Snallygasters over by that Verdi bird. In that truck is a 50 caliber machine gun, if you're looking for one of those. Um, it is a respawn point, so if a player has taken it, you're just going to have to server hop if you're wanting that, and it's not there. Now, if you've, just, if you've taken it, it will take a while for it to respawn, but I think server hopping will still give you multiple ones. you just got to find a server that no one has grabbed it yet. All right, down to less than 30 seconds. Let's see, who else has attacked here? Um, the smaller ones, I think mole rats. Um, yeah. Maybe rad rats. But hopefully, hopefully this will be an easy one, but I'm a higher level player, so they might throw out some anglers at me. Oh, it's going to be easy. Rad rats. And I prepared for the worst, but that's okay. All right, let's see if I missed any. Nope, here comes wave two. Hopefully my turrets, yep, my turrets will tell me where they're at. I'm going to run over here. Now this workshop has quite a bit, which I'll show you as soon as we're done with the event. If you're just wondering what resources they have. And I'm done. I got my epic. So if you're just needing any event. Now if you're needing multiple events for, let's say it's part of your weekly, you're supposed to do, I mean, how many events, you can just go around and grab these workshops and then go defend them or retake them are also considered events. And like I said, you can go help out anyone at their workshop if an event, one of the defend or retake pops up their workshop and it will also count for you. But let me stress again, Player versus player can be initiated at workshops. Now let me show you what they have here. Uh, crystal, acid, and gold. So that's one of the acid. That is the other acid. Actually, there's three acid. There's the third one. There's your gold. Up here is your crystal. Let me go think. I think that was it. And then food and water, you just throw out your water collectors, purifiers, whatever you have. And just throw out food where you can place the food. Alright, that is actually it for this video. If you found it helpful with how to quickly grab a, one of the events that you need. Don't forget to like, share, and sorry. <laughs> Got a little distracted here in my living room. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, happy gaming, happy collecting score.